Trying to straighten that boy out. Again, this amazing artist drew Rabbit, and she is crying and absolutely just thrilled to see this. It also makes up for her losing her volleyball today that she only had for an hour, and it went up on a roof and she can't get it back. But your art is absolutely incredible and we freak out every single time that we see it because we're just so thankful. This is amazing. Thank you, Freaky Vicky on DeviantArt. Your art is very incredible, and everybody, please go follow. This art is incredible, and we are super thankful that you have drawn anything for us. Thank you so much for all of it. I got this body chain for a dollar, and I think that I am going to have to spend so much time untangling this before I can use it for cosplay. How do pretty people do this all the time? Just how? In a bit of... A viewer sent this picture saying their cat likes to watch you on the internet. How does it make you feel? You bashful? A viewer sent this and said that their cat likes to watch Nepeta in the vlogs. That is so cute. Isn't that cool? Somebody on the internet likes to watch you. Another kitty. Isn't that cool? Finally, after like an hour of trying to untangle this, the body chain is completely untangled. I got it on with only maybe a mild bit of tears in my brain, but this is what it will look like with the top on. I don't have the right pants because those need to be tailored to me, but I definitely have the shirt on, so here's an idea of the outfit with the body chain. I'm actually very impressed with how it is turning out. This is a cosplay I definitely didn't see myself doing, but I really fell in love with the character and decided, why not? If it's going to make me happy, I might as well do it. And it is definitely going to make me happy because I really want to do this character justice. So I'm doing my best and I only had to spend a little bit of time crying over a body chain that I got for a dollar. But that's okay. That's cosplay. I accidentally assumed. <laughs> Do I get to be the mama now? Yes. Mama Please bird. be mom. <laughs> Go away. Turn around. Bye. Hike up your shorts. I know, they're a little... Where's the mom butt? Turn around again. Oh, there's yeah. something on well, the back see... of the jacket. Yeah, there's something on the back of the jacket. There's Can some shit on the jacket. I'm sure. Let's see. There's shit on the jacket, mm -hmm. mom. Can we see? You know, Daichi uses the same line on me. But it looks... Suda, there's something on the back like of your crap. jacket. Mmm, that ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to, like, hem those real high. Yeah, I know. A lot higher. A lot higher. A lot higher? A lot higher. Yeah, a lot higher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, right to the cheeks. <laughs> Why did you not get the booty shorts? Yeah. Ah! Stop! I just need to cut this wig. I'm having a fucking conniption. <laughs> you need to not. Fuck cut off. the wig, him the shorts, <laughs> your Suga. I'll be Suga. No shorts. Suga mama. You don't need the shorts. Yeah. No. <laughs> No shorts. no shorts. No. You don't need shorts in my bedroom. Over Daichi. But ma'am! <laughs> I feel actually pretty. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. A... What? Do not stare at your mother's but butt. <laughs> so, I'll poke mom in the eye. <laughs> Gorge out eyes. <laughs> Gouge the Can't eye seem out. To get away That's from the Tokyo Ghoul fandom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I was just. I needed a new volleyball because mine exploded for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It just I hit it and then it exploded, and I was like, "All right, well, I guess that that one's done." So I go to Walmart really quick because I wanted to play fucking volleyball. I just wanted to hit against the wall. And try to fucking do whatever. So, bust my volleyball. I go to Walmart. 
and I can't find any of the volleyballs anywhere. I see basketballs and tennis balls, footballs, nothing else. And then looking at the basketballs, you remember this associate who I guess, I mean, he said he worked in the sports section. So I asked him, I was like, hey man, do you like have any volleyballs? And he just looks at the basketball and he pats it and he's like, yeah, it's right here. Like in a joking way. I was like, oh, that's so funny. But no, seriously. And uh, so I just laughed and I was like, oh, that's a basketball. I'm needing a volleyball. He's like, I think I know my sports ball. Again, but like in a joking manner. And I was like, all right. And he just walks away. He didn't like help me or anything. I was like, okay, this is weird. Maybe he's like going to check on the computer. So I like stay there for five more minutes. I'm like up and down these two aisles. And he comes back and he sees I'm still there. And he just looks at me and he's like, we don't have any volleyballs. And I'm like, oh, well shit. So I was on my way out and then I went down to the volleyball nets really quick in their sports section. There's fucking volleyball there. <laughs> we don't have any volleyball. I was like, so... <laughs> First you're going to tell me basketball is a volleyball and then you're going to tell me to have any volleyballs and there's a volleyball like fucking sitting right there. Okay sir. And I tried to find this guy to like walk by with the volleyball and be like, <laughs> I found it. <laughs> he wasn't in the department anywhere. I went up both three aisles and I was like, he's just not here anymore. <laughs> this is fine. And that's it. That's the story. But then, but then as I'm trying to like get my new volleyball out of the box, my old one that like popped out of the seams and stuff, it hadn't like popped, just ripped the seam. It exploded in my cart. I thought someone hit me. <laughs> the end. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wilson. And that's the story Boom. of Brandon, the fucking jerk at Walmart associate. <laughs> 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 fucking sassed me and then didn't help me. <laughs> Thanks, sir. It's not, he just, he acted really tired and I was like, dude, I understand. But like, you're at work and I'm, I'm a customer in need. And I just wanted, if he had just told me where the shit was, I would have been out of your hair. Yeah. Instead, I like had to search for it myself and I found it myself and I was proud. Now you have to be in Suga's hair. Yes. <laughs> Player this bitch. Please make me pretty again. I'm trying. <laughs> this is what happens when he's neglected. <laughs> when he's binged for so long. I've been trying to help everybody It's else. been warming <laughs> the bench for the baby's butts <laughs> so they don't get cold when they finally have to sit down. <laughs> Poor baby's butts. I work hard as a bench warmer. He does. He does. He Fuck brings it. juice boxes. Mom. It's snacks. Aw. And reorganize everybody's gym bags and make sure everybody has what they need. Socks, fresh underwear, condoms. Don't. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck> <laughs> Hey, there today. Don't be silly, kids. It's not like kids. I don't know. Serious. <laughs> Tap the hair top. <laughs> I mean, I know there's barbershop talk, but simmer down. Oh, Suga. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's something you say. Again. Get on the pole. Please do. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Just saying hi to all the babies out there. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Stop staring at me. <laughs> I'm so emotional. I'll have to decide between these contacts and the gray ones I have coming in, but. This is. Rabbi did a fabulous job cutting this wig. Y'all. It looks awesome. Thank you so much. Now I can take care of the whole team. The whole team. <laughs> so cute. Stop. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> That's my line. Get in your closet. That came out years ago. Get back in your closet. I don't think anybody on my team is in the closet. <laughs> That's true. Maybe Kageyama to like himself. Tanaka is the only straight one on that team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking hurts. When does it go away? <laughs> <laughs> when does the pain stop? It doesn't.
Damn. Does it hurt My that wrists bad? hurt from oh. yesterday because I played with this for like an hour. Just bumping it yesterday. Play by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Be your small son. I'm so tired. Your small lonely son. Happy Easter. <laughs> Suck at volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do at a family get together? You play volleyball. Like, by yourself. By yourself. By yourself. You eat Fuck. good food and then you so play good. volleyball alone. Your grandma knows how to cook. <laughs> She's like, yeah! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let me equip out to the food, hungry children. <laughs> Come on, Hanada, you can do better than that. I know. Oh. Yesterday. I can usually like, do 10 of these in a row. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Tree. Tree. Alright, let's get serious here. This is like my line. <laughs> <laughs> you poor I don't sad like sack. Winston the second. I liked Winston the first the best. He fucking exploded. <laughs> <laughs> My head. Ouch. Ow. <laughs> no. One day. <laughs> Do I need a toss for you? Toss for me. <laughs> Put it in the tree. <laughs> You picked a real small space, bud. <laughs> I want to spike it in your face. Spike it. Okay, ready? Oh, I'm blind. Alright. I'm gonna try to bump it back and forth as much as possible. The sun is in the ready? Are <laughs> you ready? I'm sorry! I have a kill! <laughs> I've never played volleyball. That hurt! Me either. I told you! Here's just how you place your hands to dig it. So make a fist and cup. <laughs> you Thumbs up. <laughs> Yee. Wee. Yes. No. This is probably the most ingenious cosplay thing ever, and I don't know how I never thought of this. I've just taken the tripod for the camera and angled it to where the little handly bit is up, and my wig head just fits so perfectly on it. And now I can let long wigs down and I can brush them and it doesn't wobble and it doesn't fall down. I read about this, I was uh, looking at tutorials for straightening wigs with hot water and it suggested putting a tripod, a cheap tripod, in the shower and then putting the boiling water on the wig and I was like, I could cut wigs like that. I could brush wigs like that. I'm sobbing over this ingenious invention. <laughs> Honey, have you gone insane? Hmm? Have you gone insane? No, we're having wig for dinner. We're having wig for dinner. Good job. <laughs> I'm actually trying to straighten this wig. This was one of those instances where you order something and you order it for only $6 and you don't get the item that was actually pictured. So you ordered a straight black wig? I ordered a very straight short black wig for Haruka and I got a curly short black wig that would not work for Haruka. Poor Haru. So. At least he's happy in the water. Yeah, he's getting uh, boiling water dumped on him today. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's kind of working though. I don't yeah. know if that's just the, the fact that the wig is wet at the moment that's doing that or if the uh, boiling mm -hmm. water trick is actually going to straighten the fibers out. So all you did was dump hot boiling water on it? Did. All and you're that's supposed to do is make sure it. it's supposed to straighten the fibers out, yeah. Hmm. This is what I had read online. And uh, we'll see if it works. So you're not supposed to comb it, of course, while wet because you're not supposed to comb wigs while wet, but you can kind of smooth it down. I'm gonna do about three times around. You're supposed to just make sure the whole wig is thoroughly saturated. I watched somebody take um, a really curly long wig and turn it into a very straight wig, so. Interesting. Because this, will Cause this isn't out. heat resistant, huh? No, this is not a heat resistant wig, so I cannot take a flat iron to it. Yeah, it'll this is a very mean. much uh, cheap synthetic wig. This is one of those sorts of wigs that has. Uh, 
the sword of netting. Oh. So he's a, a bit cheap. Try and straighten that boy out. <laughs> um, Impossible. <laughs> he can never be straight. Even Not with, with Makoto even around. Truth. Truth. Damn. Mm. I think it would be hard for any guy to be straight with Makoto around. That's just me. Hopefully it'll straighten his wig out though. Yeah. We don't want him to be straight. No. We want him to kiss Makoto all day long. This is probably overkill, but I like to be thorough. Steamy. Man, Haru, you are really hot-headed. Oh, how many jokes can we make? <laughs> You're in real hot water, Haru. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. I'm sure it is. The you foam just is really hot. Boiling water. All right, yeah. we'll see if this can become hard. It's already kind of starting to Haru. If it stays that straight and dries, I'll be happy. Thank you, Haru. <laughs> You're welcome, Haru. Look at that precious child. Um, right now your Brezzo sad looks like an round rat. <laughs> yeah. Which is probably what he looks like all the time. Probably so. what he looks like most of the time. Most of the time that he's in the water. I need to give him that pool head. Great hairstyle. My contacts came in! How do I get into this? Why? They don't want me in my own contacts. No. Head K.E. Butcher Knife it open. Don't try that at home. Got a nice little contact here. And here's the contacts themselves. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. They're very light and pretty blue. They're very light blue. And they're supposed to have little bitty sparkles. Very hard to see on camera. But they're supposed to have like drawn on anime sparkles. So that's interesting. Oh, there they are. You can see them now. Whoa, those look pretty. I like them. These are going to be really pretty on your blue eyes. FYI, people looking to purchase these ones because they're pretty readily available on sites like Wish and some other sites. They are really thin. I wouldn't be able to put these on my eyes because the color is not very opaque. It would probably darken up a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. but they're going to look probably really great on light colored eyes on greens or blues that are light. I'm excited, and they look like they're uh, floppy. They don't look like they're too hard, which is going to be very nice because I have trouble getting contacts on sometimes. The other thing that came in the mail today. Yes! I'm so excited to be Thuggy Saw. I'm doing Thuggy Saw Gosh. in this little lemon jacket. Oh, that's so cool. These are all embroidered and like oh, are they? actual. Yeah, these Ooh. are not iron on. They're. Oh, I was so worried they were going to be like iron on and I was going to have to be careful because I was like, oh, if these are iron nah, on, man, I'm going to are... be really careful that I don't like And this is just the them. jacket that's commonly available on eBay and Amazon that you see pretty much everywhere. The mass produced jackets. These uh, are snazzy. Jackets. Oh my they gosh. have. Actual. I'm actually shocked for the price. Patches, if but anybody these was were actually high quality. Yeah. We bought these at a really, really, really cheap price, Here, and I was that. worried that they were gonna be embroidered out. like stick-ons, and that I was yeah, gonna have to like do of. some repairing throughout the cons. Because normally, if they're the stick-on embroiders, throughout cons, especially hot summer cons, your little embroider stickers will start peeling off. Bro, these go all the way through. Dude, snazzy. Uh, I will say Haruka's is an actual winter weight fleece Ooh. and nagisa's is oh mine's light no mm. yours is a jersey nice and harkas nice. is a fleece so if anybody is wondering looking at these jackets uh they are a little bit these two are a little bit different it has a, it has a zipper that goes all the way up <laughs> awkward um. haru has a hood but i am a u.s medium um and this one was the extra large in Asian sizes. Ooh, that fits you really So well. XL for US medium, I would say. That fits you yeah, spectacular. Yeah, fits me like a dream. Very nice. I like these. These are really nice quality for the price. Like, I'm, I'm very shocked. This is awesome. It's really warm. It's fuzzy inside. It's so soft. 
Are you gonna be okay during summer cons, or are you gonna uh, have to like? It'll be a little bit warm, but I should be all right. Just stay indoors. Staying with the indoors, AC. yeah. Take it off when you're not. Luckily, in Haru is not a terribly active character. He doesn't run a lot, and here Nagisa is gonna be a little bit easier because he runs around, but he's in a lighter weight. Yeah. I really do like that the patches are patches, though. Mm, That's so very exciting. Fancy. These are nice. So nicely done. Highly recommend. There you go. Perfect Haru cosplay. Haru. There we go. Yes, I am Haru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the, how that looks on the camera. That looks really good. Do his hair flip. Flip. To uh, avoid being like Moe Haru. <laughs> I had to give his sleeves a little flip, but that's because I have stumps for arms. Stumpy. I have stumps for arms. I'm real short. Guys, if you don't realize this, I'm real freaking short. Yeah, we always say that and then people are like, how short are you? We're short. We real can't short. reach the second cabinet, if yeah. that helps. You guys will meet us and you'll be like, you guys look taller on camera. I'll be like, I know. Yeah, we get told that <laughs> all the time. And I'm just like, yes, yes, we're very that's short. That's normal size jackets give me stumps for arms. But <laughs> one roll gave him a good look, so. And this part fits real well. And that this shirt amazing. that Rabbit is awesome and got me for my birthday because mm -hmm. she knows that I love my Haru baby so much. She got me the shirt, so now I have the shirt and the jacket and the pink pants. Pink pants. Pink Gotta pants. have the pink pants. And I'm gonna be Haru. Because Haru, for some reason, has pink pants, but you oh, gotta. pink pants. Yeah. Why not? Who taught that boy how to dress? Makoto. Oh. Oh my god, those look so good. I have the contacts in, and you can see the little sparkles. So but they look really great with this pink wig. They do. That wig draws them out so well. The only thing I will note about them being as thin as they were, it's awesome that they're thin because they went in right away. The only problem is they do fold over on themselves a lot as you're trying to get them in, so it kept on like rolling up into a little fruit roll-up type of thing and it's very hard to get it from unrolling but other than that these are really comfortable contacts and I can actually see through them normally some contacts colored contacts will give me like a hazy vision these I don't even remember that I have them in that's very nice and the petals laying in the victims flesh sad part is I just vacuumed Friendly reminder to check your colored contacts throughout the months. I know with colored contacts you only really wear them for your cosplay and sometimes they can be forgotten up in a cabinet. These are my shoe contacts that I wore at Vision Con and they have already dried out. So hopefully they'll be salvageable if they have a nice good soak in saline for 24 hours. I am not going to keep my bets high on these personal contacts just on the grounds of these are like seven-year-old contacts and I probably shouldn't be wearing them anymore anyway. But please do check your contacts even maybe right now. Hopefully this was a good reminder to just check them. I also checked my Juzo contacts, my red ones, and only one side was super dried out whereas the other one was perfect fine. I don't understand that, but please do make sure to keep your eyeballs safe, and that means by keeping your contacts in mint condition and happy, healthy, hydrated contacts. Also, please be sure to check out my new contact review video. Link is down below. I really do like these contacts a whole lot. They are very high quality.